Greetings everyone, and welcome to my 1% playthrough of Sanguine Cyromancy and Ultraviolence. Alright, time for a standalone map. Just... for the heck of it. So this is a rejected Plutonia Revisited Community Project 2 map. And believe it or not, but this map was rejected for being too difficult and too unfun. So that is quite intriguing. So... Yeah, this is a Cyberden clone as you can see. But it's a Cyberden clone on steroids times 2 pretty much. And you'll see why. But first, let's grab some armor. The rocket launcher. Shells. Super shotgun and get ready for bullshit fights number 1. So as you can see... You're gonna get sandwiched by Hell Knights here. What I like to do is just bump into the Hell Knights to force a melee attack. Well, this time didn't work out. But what I want to prevent is that the Hell Knights uh, get too close to the switch, because then you get sandwiched and they're gonna melee you. By forcing a melee attack and then backpedaling, they... you slow them down pretty much. Anyway, after you press the switch, you reveal two cyber demons, which normally should be a pretty easy fight in an arena like this because you just circle strafe to win. But this arena is just. it's so simple. Like, there's a pattern on the floor that doesn't hurt you because the, the blood is a damaging floor. So, what is normally a circle strafe to win fight becomes quite technical because you need to. Watch your footing, you need to pay attention where you move. Or else you take unnecessary damage. All while dodging rockets and shooting cyber demons, you need to do three things at once. This is like such a simple change in the arena that really makes cy uh, fighting cyber demons somewhat challenging and interesting. So, yeah, really good use of damaging floors here. I'm actually impressed. So yeah, we need to uh, restock on ammo. There we go. Okay, one down. This one should die soon. Yeah. Okay, well that's the first pair of cyber demons. Let's grab a supercharge. And some armor. Because the upcoming fight is... Probably the weirdest fight you're going to see in a long time. It is so gimmicky, it's it's bizarre. Just watch what happens, look at my health, and look at my weapons. Look what happens to my weapon every couple of seconds. Just pay good attention. So, suddenly I grabbed the Berserk out of nowhere, and again. And again. And again, <laughs> it keeps it keeps switching me to the keeps switching me to the fist. It's out of my control, but there's a certain rhythm. So the gimmick here is that every five seconds or so, uh, Voodoo Doll grabs a Berserk pack, which fortunately uh, heals you. But it keeps switching you to the fist, which is annoying while fighting all those enemies. But yeah, very, very gimmicky. It's, it's so stupid. But, uh, yeah. Alright. It's stupid in a good way. By the way, nice attention to uh, Dito here with the little piece of stone that broke off. And now it's flooding uh, this room with blood. Very cute. Alright, so here we have another switch, but be careful. I'm gonna get sandwiched by four pinkies. Nothing uh, extreme. And we also get a backpack. That's the sole purpose of doing the berserk fight first. Is to have a backpack. Because each time you grab a key, you get rewarded with an item. And the blue key gives you a backpack. Oh yeah, 
I forgot about that. Chain gonna spawn in when you fire a shot. Let's not deal with them right now. Let's just make them in fights. They cannot see you through this window, by the way, but I wanna lure them to one side of the room. Okay, the chain gunner. Yeah, that's right. Cyberdemon. Kill the chain gunner. And now we do the same thing again. Plasma the Cyberdemon to death while watching your step. Ingenious. This is made by the same person who made that Fire Blue map, by the way. That one also had really clever fights, if you remember. Or if you could see, because that video is really difficult to, uh, to watch due to Fire Blue's compression uh, shenanigans. I think on easier difficulties there are red suits here. But on ultra violence, you have to deal with it. No red suits for you. Okay. Um, yeah, I think we're fine. Let's just heal up. Grab some more armor just in case. Because the next room is also very gimmicky and. I'm not sure how to explain it, but I'll try to explain it um, real quick. So, there are three doors here, or four, four doors that open up with four chain gunners. You cannot kill the chain gunners because they keep getting resurrected by Archros. And every, I don't know, six or seven seconds, or maybe more, or ten even, the doors close, and then the opposite side opens up with the chain gunners. But in the meantime, you're gonna get pelted by Hell Knights from above, and Pinkies will spawn in the arena. So the gimmick here is, is that you go from one side to the other, um, to go to the side where the doors close. So you don't get uh, turned into Swiss cheese by the chain gunners. Um, you'll see. So watch this. First, the Hell Knights spawn. Now the doors are still closed. But now, they open up, and Pinkies spawn in. And now, you go to the other side. As you can see, the chain gunners are there. You cannot kill them. But yeah, you have to do a lot of things at once. You have to deal with the pinkies. You need to kill them, or else they fill up the arena. You cannot move. But you also need to, be, uh, also need to dodge the Hell Knight projectiles. And you need to time the doors closing and opening where the chain gunners are. So, I like the timer with four shotgun blasts, so I shot four times. Now go to the other side. Oh wow. Three, uh, four. I, c I cannot count. But, oh, it's fine. You can also look at the fire blue texture. When it lights up, it's time to go to the other side. But now it's lighting up. So yeah, very gimmicky, but ingenious. And really unique. Okay, so now the door, uh, door stopped moving. Let's get out of here. I don't think we can heal here. We need to be careful not to get zapped by the Archer. Come on, die. Did he die? No. He's busy resurrecting stuff. Okay, now he died. Okay, now we need to not get chain gunned. 10 health. And we're good. Well, be aware of the damaging floor, deals 10 damage, so... We could have died there. But, we're good. Alright, so now I'm gonna go for the secret Megasphere. You press this switch. That reveals the Megasphere here. And I'm gonna use that for the upcoming room. Another very nasty room. This one over here. A lot of pinkies and archers in a pretty cramped area. So I want to focus on the archers first. Here's archer number one. I uh, need to be a bit quicker because chain gunners will spawn on the timer. 
And you don't want to fight the Archfalls while chain gunners are chain gunning you. So let's quickly hide. We killed the Archfalls on time. Now the chain gunners appeared. I like to hide here. Because then most of the chain gunners cannot really hit you. But it doesn't mean really well. I didn't really need the Mega Surf with this room after all. Alright, to get out, you just press the switch behind that uh, wall. And here we go. Final stretch, we're gonna kill some more Cyber Demons, although we need to deal with. Um, a Baron and a Chain Gunner. Very annoying Chain Gunner and Baron, so. I'm gonna do the same thing as I did with the Hell Knights. Just bump into the Baron, force a melee attack. And... Okay, that was pretty good. Because you're gonna get sandwiched by the Baron real badly. And look, a Mega Armor that we don't need. Alright, let's wake up those Cyber Demons. Grab the cells. And you know the drill. Watch your footing. Oh wait, does this spawn the pinkies? Yeah, okay, I'll leave them here. They're nice meat shoots. I keep forgetting enemies spawn in this arena after you uh, uh, unleash cyber demons, except the first one, the first pair. All right. I can uh, say about this last minute cyber demons, I guess. And uh, watch your step, Lamau. I didn't mention that this map is very tight on ammo. Can I kill this one with plasma? It's the first time I failed to kill two Cyber Demons with 400 cells. Um, there should be one more door. Yeah, the yellow door. This one has two Archfalls. Nothing uh, too scary, except when that happens. But then again, there's still Mega Armor left and also Supercharge once we press this switch. Also, in the end, I don't think the order matters. I think you always get a backpack first, regardless of which key you grab. I think. I didn't really experiment with other um, routes first. But I think it always gives you the backpack first. Anyway, pay the elemental spawn in. Just circle strafe or not really strafe maneuver in circular motion around the arena those lost souls will eventually die along with the pain elementals you can also just super shotgun them if you want but i'll just do it like this okay good enough time to plasma a bit the last pair of cyber demons for now we're not done with cyber demons yet though look at the kill count we still have almost 40 enemies left and no it's not 40 cyber demons i can uh, assure you the map maker's not that evil but evil enough to get this map rejected from uh, the plutonia revisited cp2 project Although, personally, I don't think this map is that difficult. I mean, I did practice this like three times. But it's, it's brutal, but it's easy to learn. It's all about the rhythm. This map relies a lot on rhythm. Whoa, 
That corpse, what the hell are you doing? Yeah, a lot of rhythm, like the chain on the doors that open on a, open and close uh, rhythmatically. Um, the berserk pickups that the voodoo picks up. You could even uh, apply the nukage rhythm to not take damage from the uh, damaging floor here, but that's a bit overkill. If you're fast enough, you can just jump over the gap so you will never touch the damaging floor. I think I pressed all the switches, that means we can now climb the spiral staircase. And... Ooh, jump scare? No, those aren't enemies. It's just BFG ammo. So yeah. 34 enemies left, and they give us a BFG. Uh-oh. What's gonna happen? Oh, I don't care. Here's the exit. Let's go to the exit. What? Oh shit, four cyber demons. And not just that. Also, a shit ton of revenants. Pain elementals. And I think that's it. But the map also gave us a mega sphere. So we can just Whoa. Um walk on the damaging floor without having to worry too much. The only thing you need to worry about, uh, worry about is catching stray rockets. But just deal with the revenants as fast as you can. Then the cyber demons have nothing to aim fight with and there will be no stray rockets. So yeah, that's the final fight. It may look scary, but honestly, it isn't. And there we go. That's the map. And the final uh, secret is actually here. The secret exit, because... This was supposed to be map 31, and this was supposed to be the secret exit to map 32. But that idea got rejected. It's now a standalone map, but uh, the secret exit was kept in for, I don't know, for the heck of it. But yeah, that was uh, Sanguine Cyromancy, a uh, very unique map. Like, the gimmicks, it's something I have never seen before, like the time to berserk pickups. Then the, uh, the timed chain on the doors with the arch files and stuff. That is such a unique idea and I would love to see more. I know the map maker also made the, the fire blue map, like I said, also with very, very unique ideas. In that case, the, um, the room with the arch files where you press switches to create walls to not get zapped, all while fighting zombie man imps and other nastiness. Um, yeah, Xogonoth. Uh, has some really great mapping ideas and uh, I look forward to more because I like standalone maps like this um, So yeah, if you want to have a nice challenge uh, Maybe get infuriated if you cannot figure out the gimmicks Give this map a spin. It is really 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 gimmicky, but uh, I like it. It's unique and uh, In my opinion, it is really fun so, great map, and um, yeah, that's it. Uh, I said in the previous video that I'm gonna go on vacation, and uh, it's gonna be for three days. So, in three days, you're gonna see the first video of the main project. Ooh, what could it be? What could it be? Well, you're gonna have to wait until, I think, September 4th or 5th, uh, something like that. We'll see. All right, guys. Have a nice day and see you in three or four days.